Today's video is introduction to Android Studio or we can say how to create your first Android project. This is fourth episode of Android Beginners Tutorial Series in TechCaseWipe. In this, I explained Android Studio and a simple default Hello World app in detail. I welcome you all to this video, so let's start. First, open Android Studio. Click on Start a new Android Studio project. So we are going to create our first app using Java in Android Studio 3.5.3. By this video, you will be clear about some basics about Android Studio and creating an app. Now we can see a widget where we can select templates for our project. You can select either basic activity, button navigation activity, navigation drawer activity, login activity, Google map activity, etc. Now I am selecting empty activity. With empty activity, we can create all these templates if needed by coding. Then click on next. In the widget of configure your project, you can give your application name. By default, it will be my application. Now change that into your app name. I'm giving it as hello world. Package name here is com.example.helloworld. Package name must be unique. Otherwise, it will be an issue when this project will reach on Google Play Store. I'm changing it into com.techiesvibe.helloworld. Next is the location where this project is saved. You can change it if you need. Select the language. We are going with Java for now. Select minimum API level. If you select ice cream sandwich, your app will work on approximately 100% of devices. If you select Oreo, app will run on approximately 1.1% of devices. So if you are developing an app for a particular organization where everybody is using same kind of smartphone with same API, then you can select like this. In this case, let's go with Android 4.4 KitKat targeting 95.3% of devices and then click on finish. Now we will wait for Android Studio to build this project. When it's done, you can see the main activity is opened. This is created by Android Studio itself. I will explain everything in detail. As you can see, app location is in the top. This is name of application and here you can see open, save, sync, back, build project, debug configuration dialog, list of virtual devices, run, debugging. This one is to attach debugger, sync project with Gradle files, use after you add a library, AVD manager, SDK manager, I have told about these two in previous video named how to download Android Studio in detail. And project structure. This is to search every word. And next one is journey motion. This will not be in uh, every IDE. Only if you add plugin for journey motion. Journey motion is another type of virtual device. You can check in the description box for link or click on the iCard to know about this. You can open this part by clicking on project tab. So if your project is closed, you can open it by clicking on project or by pressing Alt 1. There are two folders under Android, app and Gradle scripts. You can add libraries in the build.gradle file. But for this project, we are not adding any library. This is a simple project. We'll describe about this in future videos. Make sure you don't edit anything here without proper knowledge, otherwise it will make issues in your project. In the app folder, you can see manifest, java and resource folder. As you open manifest folder, you can see android manifest file. This is also very important file. You should not edit anything here unless you know what you are doing. 
a tense operating system what is the icon what is the label team how many activities are listed inside here we can see one activity called main activity intent filter is included in this activity which says this is the launch activity that is when you click on the app icon in your phone this activity will show up first this is the launch activity and also this file indicates what is the package for this app then we can have a look at java file in that you can see main activity file it is default code by android studio so we can have a look it includes package name and import statements android studio will do this by itself main activity is inherited from app compact activity so that app will work on all logo devices the function here is on create which is in the activity life cycle this is the first function android studio will execute in this activity in this function there is set content view that is to set its design view main activity is the java file and activity main is the xml file that means xml is the design view which will be showing on the font screen and java file includes the operations working behind that ui now we can have a look at resource folder inside that drawable folder where we can save images we use in the project map map is also the folder which we can save images in different sizes so that android studio will find image size compatible for the device activity underscore main is the xml file for main activity see how it is named java file start with capital letter and no space in between two different words xml file has no capital letters and spaces separated by underscore and when you write make sure you name according to what purpose it is doing like login activity registration activity and its xml file must be like activity underscore login activity underscore registration so that you will be clear which xml belongs to which activity and what they are doing in a complex application we can zoom the view so that you can see properly it is hello world this is also by the default code so in short your hello world program is ready without coding but purpose of this video is to study android studio properly as a beginner when you click on text you can see the xml code for hello world which is a text view so just have a look at how it is linked in main activity the code set content view have r which is the resource then layout then activity main and activity main have this design in android manifest inside main activity it is written that this is the launcher so at first when you open the app hello world will be on the screen we can execute and we'll have a look now there is one more which is values inside that colors strings and styles in colors.xml it have color name and color code you need to write the hex color codes here to use it in your app as default there are some colors color primary is showing here and color primary dark is showing in the top of ui that is the notification bar or uh, status bar strings.xml include all the strings you will use in your code so as default the app name is defined here which is used in the android manifest so that it will show up in the action bar in styles you can add themes for your app as default here is app theme from theme dot app compact dot light dot dark action bar and colors are added in this style to show up in the app now this is our hello world app in this video we covered android studio in detail now i think you are clear about android studio and a simple project in the coming videos in android beginners tutorial series 
we will learn to code like how to add text views, edit text, etc. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow Techie Swipe on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you all like my videos, keep on supporting and thanks for watching.